Allowable stress design or ASD is a method used in structural engineering to design structural members such as beams, columns, and foundations. It is a method to determine the maximum allowable load that a structure can support. The goal of ASD is to ensure that the materials used will not be overstressed beyond their allowable limits. This method takes into account the maximum stress that a material can handle without causing permanent deformation or failure. This approach is based on the idea that all materials have an allowable stress limit, which they can withstand without incurring permanent deformation or failure. The ASD method helps engineers ensure that structures are safe and reliable by taking into account factors such as material strength, load distribution, and environmental conditions. In ASD, engineers calculate the maximum allowable stress for each material used in a structure and then apply safety factors to ensure that it can handle expected loads over its lifetime. These safety factors are typically between two and four times the calculated maximum stress level, depending on the type of structure being designed. By using this methodology, engineers can design structures that meet strict safety standards while also optimizing costs through the efficient use of materials. Allowable Stress Design, ASD, and Allowable Strength Design, ASD, are two methods used in structural engineering to design buildings and other structures. In Allowable Stress Design, ASD, the maximum stress that a material can withstand is calculated, and a factor of safety is applied to ensure that the design is safe. The factor of safety is typically between 1.5 and 2.0, which means that the maximum stress in the material should be no more than half of the yield stress. This method is often used for materials such as concrete, masonry, and timber. On the other hand, allowable strength design, ASD, focuses on the strength of the material rather than the stress it can withstand. It calculates the maximum load that a material can support, and then applies a factor of safety to ensure that the design is safe. The factor of safety used in ASD is typically between 1.65 and 2.0, which means that the maximum load on the material should be no more than half of the ultimate strength. This method is commonly used for materials such as steel and other metals. Here are some examples of how ASD is used. Concrete design. In concrete design, ASD is used to determine the allowable stress that can be applied to the material. The allowable stress is calculated based on the strength of the concrete and the factor of safety used. This is used to design elements such as columns, beams, and slabs in concrete structures. Timber design. In timber design, ASD is used to calculate the maximum allowable stress that can be applied to the wood. This is used to design elements such as roof trusses, floor joists, and beams in timber frame structures. Masonry design. In masonry design, ASD is used to calculate the allowable stress that can be applied to the material. The allowable stress is determined based on the strength of the masonry and the factor of safety used. This is used to design elements such as walls, columns, and arches in masonry structures. Aluminum design. In aluminum design, ASD is used to calculate the allowable stress that can be applied to the material. The allowable stress is determined based on the strength of the aluminum and the factor of safety used. This is used to design elements such as frames, panels, and supports in aluminum structures. The formula used in ASD to calculate the allowable stress is, allowable stress equals yield stress, factor of safety wear, yield stress, the stress at which a material begins to deform plastically factor of safety, a number applied to the yield stress to ensure the design is safe. The factor of safety is typically between 1.5 and 2.0. The American Institute of Steel Construction, AISC, provides guidelines for the allowable stress design, ASD, of steel structures. The Ike ASD method is based on the principle that the maximum stress in a member should not exceed a certain proportion of its yield strength, depending on the type of loading. The Ike specification provides a set of load combinations that are used to determine the design loads on a structure. These loads include dead load, live load, wind load, and seismic load, among others.